right, so let's do a quick example of this. Okay, so let's say we're given um, the following. So we have, uh, this is our water level. So water, all right, so this is y equals zero. And then we have some kind of triangle down here. Okay, this is supposed to be an equilateral triangle, but <laughs> I think it has like four sides or something. Um, hold on. <laughs> Let me try to do that better. Okay. Okay, that was better. All right, so we're given this, and then this is an equilateral triangle. We're given that fact, and across the bottom here, that's two meters wide, okay? So it's two meters on this side too, and two meters on this side. Okay, but um, I'll remove these two on the side so I have more room to write. Um, let's see, what else? And then, so this is an equilateral, all right? So it's two, two meters on each side. And then we're also given that the mass density of this fluid is 900 kilograms per meter cubed, okay? So we're asked to find the fluid force, the total fluid force. So big F equals what? We don't know. Okay, so I'm, what I'm gonna do here is, um, well, the fact that this is equilateral can help us out a lot. So what I'm going to do is use geometry skills and cut a line. <laughs> okay, this is not straight. Um, I'm going to attempt to cut a line straight down. Okay, that was pretty good. All right, so when you split it in two, these actually turn into 30, 60, 90 triangles, right? Because in, e in an equilateral triangle, all angles are 60. Um, okay, so... If we remember the properties of 30, 60, 90, if this side is 1, if this side length is 1, the other one has to be 2, which it is, right? And then the height has to be radical 3. So what this tells us is that going from the top all the way to the bottom is a distance of y equals root of 3, okay? So this is our total um, depth, all right? So this is actually going to be our A and our B for our interval, okay? So, um, yeah, our, let's see, what else do we have here? So now we need to find, so here's our uh, formula again. I'll just rewrite it so we know what we have and what we need to find. So we have A to B and then Y, F of Y, and DY. Okay, so we have... Um, we have our mass density, we know G, and we have our Y. That's just going to be Y for the depth, right? Um, and then F of Y, that's what we have to find. So what is F of Y? That's our horizontal distance at any given depth, okay? So this is like our F of Y, let's say, F of Y, okay? So what we can find, so here I'll draw another triangle. So like this, pretend this is our big triangle, so 2... Um, 2, 2, and then with a height of radical 3. And let's say, um, like I did here on the top one, we cut it here to make a similar triangle, right? This one's also equilateral, except for now it's going to have a base of F of Y, right? Because that's um, our horizontal distance. And our height, uh, we don't know what that's going to be. So that's just going to be h. Um, okay, so now what we can do here is actually do, um, what's it called? It's like similar parts for similar triangles or something. Um, I don't know, it might be a theorem or something. Something that we learned in geometry. So basically, I'm going to, um, the parts are proportional to each other. So what we can say is that h over b, so the height over the base um, which in this case is f of y, is equal to, um, let's see, and then we have h, so of the big triangle, which is this, over the base, which is 2, okay? So what we actually get is that f of y, whoa, why is it way over there? f of y is equal to 2 over radical 3 of h. And h is our depth, which we can also denote as y, 
right? That's what we're using for um, depth. Uh, so f of y is equal to 2 over radical 3y, okay? All right, so now we have everything to plug into our force, uh, our fluid force formula. <laughs> wow, try saying that like five times fast. Okay, so our fluid force is going to be equal to our mass density, which is 900 kilograms per meters cubed times um, the gravity constant, 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we have from A to B, which is going to be 0 to radical 3. And then we have our Y times F of Y, which we found was 2 over radical 3 Y, and then DY. So now we have a, a normal integral. So what we can do is take out the um, 2 over 3, so we're going to get 2 over radical 3, sorry, radical 3, and then times 900 times 9.8, and then from 0 to radical 3 um, of y squared, dy. And this is a pretty simple integral from here on out. Um, and we're going to get a, okay, so, yeah, everything in front, um, 2 over radical 3, whoa, that was a long radical there, um, and then we have 900 and our 9.8. And this is going to be the y squared when you integrate that. That is 1 over 3y to the third. And then we have radical 3 up there and a 0 down there. So when you evaluate this, it turns out to be about 17,640 newtons. Okay? And force, um, if you haven't taken physics yet, is always measured in newtons. Okay, that's the unit. All right.